Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Ashok Gupta and I'm today with new video and this video is dedicated towards hand repair surgeries. I would request you to stop my video for one minute and read the question in the next screen, try to solve it and then we will rationalize it why which one is the right answer. Pause it. Okay, as the information provided in the question, we see that this question is a seven week post surgery extensor tendon repair on the distal region uh, that doesn't matter right hand or left hand. Okay, so um, and which one is a best rehabilitation exercise option? So out of the four, uh, if we see what exactly the information is given in is um, first thing is whether the exercise has to be active range of motion or passive range of motion. Two options active range of motion, two options passive range of motion. Okay, so next uh, is DIP flexion and extension exercise, and which is common for all four of them, so we don't have to worry about it. And the last option in all the uh, last component of all the answers is PIP joint position. One says it should be in the neutral. Two, it says it should be in the extension, and then three, it says it should be in the flexion. Okay, so if you find out these two answers, we can approach the right answer. So let's walk into it. Uh, active range of motions and passive range of motions. Whenever there is a repair surgery done in the hand on the tendons, we prescribe not to do active range of motion in the early phases because it might produce the high tension in the tendon and there can be the rupture of it. So, the initial phases for flexor tendon repairs, it is four weeks and for the extension tendon repairs, it's a six week duration where we do passive range of motion exercises and um, after that we can initiate the active range of motion exercise. So um, this means as our question says it's a seven week post op so we can do the active range of motion exercise. Passive range of motion exercise won't be benefited over here. So we get off answer B and answer D we they are not in the options now so we have to choose from the answer A and answer C so answer A and C has a basic difference of the PIP joint position one answer A says it should be in the neutral position okay, let's do it so when you do the flexion of the PIP joint and make the flexion of the DIP joint this is the position where the extensor tendon would be the highest stretch position so you might damage the tendon which has been recently repaired okay so now if you keep it in a neutral and do the PIP flexion and extension there's no possibilities of the same we see that out of these two answer A would be the more better option than answer C so we go ahead with the answer A also over here I would like to add one more tip that initial phases in the tendon repair surgeries active range of motion exercises are not done passive range of motion exercises are beneficial in the second phase maybe after four to six weeks active range of motion exercises becomes beneficial and resisted exercises or functional exercises are only beneficial once the active range of motion has been completed in its full range so keep it in mind Take care. We'll see you in the next video.